It's not unusual for a tropical cyclone to form in the northern Indian Ocean this time of year, but Cyclone Nargis will be remembered as one of the region's most deadly storms. When low pressure formed in the Bay of Bengal on April 27th, conditions were ripe with warm waters and definitely low vertical wind shear that created an environment ripe for development. Eventually, this storm exploded in intensity with winds topping 200 kilometers per hour. It was obvious that landfall was imminent and it happened on May 2nd in the lower section of Myanmar. Topography around this region was key to why we saw so much death and devastation. Storm surge, the leading killer in cyclones and hurricanes around the world, really unfortunately set itself up for disaster. Take a look at the reason why. On Google Earth, you can see numerous inlets through this Irrawaddy Delta region. As the water pulled in, it really had no place to go but pile high, over 600 millimeters of rain in this area. Another factor was a shallow continental shelf, meaning the land beneath the sea was shallow. So, unfortunately, that allows the storm surge to really build. If we had a deeper slope, it would have blocked that storm surge. But in this case, the water just piled straight on into the land. And this is a region that's quite populated. Take a look at this. If you're talking about people per square kilometer, over a thousand people per square kilometer live in this delta region. That's illustrated here by the darker colors you see on this graphic. So the path went right through a very populated region and the results are just devastating. Take a look at this picture back in March of 2004 for southern Myanmar and then see what it looks like now. Uh, just this picture was now taken on May 5th and you can see the floods coming up the delta all the way across this area indicated by the brown colors you see on the screen. So devastating floods and storm surge after tropical cyclone Nargis worked its way through Myanmar. With a special look at this cyclone, I'm meteorologist Bonnie Schneider.